your old buddy Michael Chip here playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is the A Line episode 19. We are still in Jack's the Ball. Uh, we've been here for a while. Uh, and I got my uh, Jeep 40 2 here. Actually, two Jeep 40 2s with 6496 being the lead engine. Uh, and we are still trying to sort this yard. And we're going to try to get it sorted today because this is getting ridiculous. It's really not. I'm having a great time. <laughs> but uh, if you if you think it's ridiculous, well, this may not be the channel for you. All right, so we're going to come all the way here to this end now as we are going to continue uh, shuttling these uh, cars onto this far yard here and attempt to get rid of all of them, or at least stick them somewhere out of the way, right? All right, so we are going to land right here, and now we are going to bring up the uh, engine HUD. There it is. And you know what? I got some great commenters because somebody finally explained all this up here. I could have looked it up. It's not that hard. But this person wrote me a very informative email. MR stands for Main Reservoir, and it should be right around 135. Make it good. So it's 129 right now. That's good. ER stands for Equalizing Reservoir, which is uh, when the brakes are released, this should be around 90. Uh, <clears throat> the BP is the brake pipe. That should also be around 90 when the brakes are released. In fact, let's release the brakes right now. Uh, the brakes are released. Okay, yeah. So they're around 90. They're 80. That That's, uh, that's what we want. Uh, and then uh, CFM uh, is the cubic feet per minute. And that's how far... Uh, how fast the air is flowing, right? The rate of airflow. Uh, and if it's at near zero, that's good. That means the reservoirs are full of air and they're ready to break. And then, of course, I knew already BC, which is the brake cylinder, zero is fully released. Okay. Because these people like to help me out, and I appreciate that. So now I know what these numbers are. I'll probably forget here and there, but I got it written down in my uh, spreadsheet, which is why I was able to do that by memory like that. Is that because I wasn't actually from memory? I was reading off my spreadsheet. <gasps> that was a long sentence. Um, but now I know what those numbers should be at. And so when the, when the train's not moving or something, that may help me out. Uh, it may not, but it may. So, I am again, whoever did that for me, thank you. There's actually two different people. Uh, that helped me, and that was very nice of them. Okay, so let's throw this one in forward. We're going to move forward. I barely hear it, but I did hear it. Put it in notch one. Okay, oh, I forgot. I got to release the handbrakes. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's in notch one. Let's Let's... Bleed the brakes now. Everything else is where it should be. Right around 90, 90. 135. Okay, let's put it in notch two. Oh. Okay. I know exactly what it is because I'm a mo. All right, bring it back over here. Now let's go back to our engines. Because, see, what you got to do is... You auto started them, and that was a good job. You did a good job, but you got to do this, this, and this too. Oh my! Okay, so uh, bring it back down here now. Oh, I went too far. There it is. Okay, now let's land here. Now, let's put it in notch one. Here we go. Notch one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's turn it off because you can see here it's in neutral. <laughs> why, why don't you go get yourself something to drink, something to eat, and about 10 minutes come back. That's about when I'll figure this out. Now is it correct? Now let's put it in notch one. There we go. There it goes. Okay. So 135, 90, 90. Those are all good. Kind of a long train, so we're just, we just want to clear this point right here, this uh, switch right there, so I'm putting the cars on this track here. That's what, There we go. It's moving nicely now. Beautiful. All right. Let's put it in a notch, too. The train's kind of long. There we go. 
This game requires your perseverance, especially when you're using the rail driver. Really gotta concentrate. But I like it. Okay. And we'll slide that right into neutral. I'll see what happens with these three numbers here when I put on the uh, auto brake. Auto brake. Okay, they're they're falling. Throw the switch now. Till it comes to a stop. Okay, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bleed off the brakes. Turned off the brakes first, of course. Get them off. And now we look at these numbers. These two are lower than that. But the flow is also at zero. So nothing's flowing in. We should be able to back up no problem now, right? Just throw it into reverse. And let's put it in notch one. Jump for a second. That went back to down to zero. Now those other ones are at... Everything else looks pretty good. Let's put it in notch two. There it goes. All right, see, now I'm, now I'm mystified. <laughs> notch three. Let's see, it starts and then it stops. Why, why, why? All right, so we're, we're going to ease it back down into notch one. We're doing some science. We're doing some science now. Really for my edification. And then we'll hit an F7. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's throw it into two now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, this is exciting. This is exciting video uh, entertainment, right? Oh, it won't let me grab on. All right, so we'll grab onto this. What side do I want to be on now? Probably going to want to be on the other side. We'll do something real dangerous. Oh, that was that was scary. Now, will it let me grab on this side? Does this side make any difference if I try to grab on it here? Nope, it does not. Let's grab onto this one right here. No, with this one too. <laughs> what? Are they going to make me walk? Nothing's working. I can't get on any of these. Is it just this type of car? Here's a here's a different type of well car right here. How about this one right here? Yeah, this one I can. Is it because this type of car won't let me? It's not, it's, these bars are awfully low. That could be it. Of course, now I can't see how close we are. Not even, Not even close, yeah. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to engage the uh, conductor uh, jet pack. And we're going to jet pack over to here. Uh, and we're going to want to stop it. And not, it turn off the jet pack. Okay, there we go. When we get down right, right into this area here. You know what we're going to do? No, no, no. I'll stop it in time. I'll stop it in time. All right, so our train should be way down there. There it is. I see it. It's coming. All right, so I'll put you guys on pause till it gets down here. Okay, here she comes. Let's uh, slide it back into neutral now. We got a pretty good 10 mile an hour clip going here. It's falling nicely. Hopefully I can stop it where I want it now. It's difficult. Add some brake here now. Probably a lot more brake. Okay. I'm going to run over here. I throw this. I feel like we're going to go over it now. No, we're not. Okay. I did not stop it in time, but that does not deter me. So let's do this. Do this. Throw it into forward. 
Lead off the brakes. Now, see, these are not moving. These 73 and 73. Uh, is it just a matter of time if I wait? Will it? But the flow rate is also zero. Okay, it's one thing to know the names. It's another thing to know what the names do. Because when I hit F7, these immediately jump to 90. So, yeah, okay. So now we're going forward. We've pushed it a little too far. Just a nudge too far. It's not going to get it done. Let's put it in notch two. But now at least I know when I look up here that, see, the train won't move when it's in the 70s. It's got to be near 90. And then the train will move. So that, you know, I, I it helped. It helped. All right. There we go. And we'll stop it right there. Well, we'll put it neutral right there. Now we'll stop it. That's good right there. All right. That's good. Then we'll fly back up here to the front. And I think we can cut it right here, right after this uh, Norfolk Southern auto rack. So probably going to be. Oh, no, I can't open it. I'm surprised. Set. Open the coupler. Then we're going to come over here. Now, let's see what happens. Our numbers now are 73, 74. Uh, <clears throat> so now on this side, we are going to close the angle cock. We're going to open the coupler. I see. I'm going to have to hit F7. We won't move. All right. Uh, take the brakes off. Oh, the brakes were on. All right, there we go. Then hit F7, see what it does? There we go. I don't know. Leave that off. All right, now we move forward. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now look at the flow rate go way up. The flow rate just shot way up. And the train came to an came to a stop. Did I not close the angle cock here? Oh no. Oh, because I hit F7 again. Yeah, that's what happened. That's why the flow rate went way up. Now it's going way back down. This is no good. All right, now we're going to have to hit F7. We could wait for that, but we're just not going to. Okay. All right, so I learned a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so now we're in notch two. And the next one we're going to want to throw is not this one here, but it's this one right here. This is the last bit I got to get into this yard, so that's good. That right. neutral. One. Half. Up there. Should be able to ride this one now, right? Be a jerk. Come here. Come here. There you are. All right. Now we're going to back it up. Release the brakes. Come on, brake release. Brake. There it is. Brake cylinder right there. Goes down. Put it in reverse. That, that would be my question now. Why are these at 73? The uh, equalizing reservoir and the brake pipe are both at 73. It's just a matter of time. You have to wait. But well, why would it do that, though? I don't know. So if I, I got it in reverse right now. If I put it in notch one, what's it going to do? Two. You can see, it starts movement and then it stops. So what did I do? Is it because I bled the brakes? Is that is that what happened? Maybe, should I bleed them some more? Or bail them, I mean? No, of course, if I hit F7, that'll, get, that'll jump us right into action. 
Yeah, because those go up to 90 then. Okay. I'm, I'm closing in on why this is happening. I don't know the reason yet, but I feel like I'm closing in on it, and I'm, I'm going to settle for that. Look at all this stuff we got in here. <laughs> Can we see the engines from here yet? Uh, no. There's our train right... Is that our train right there? Oh, no. Yeah, maybe it's on this track here now. All right. So at least we're no longer in that forward yard. We have one track left. These are all... This All this stuff on this side is all inbound into Jack's of all. But we're going to clear... I'm hoping... We're going to clear all of that because we are going to stack them on those unloading slash loading tracks. The action tracks, the uh, tracks where things are loaded and unloaded, whatever you want to call them. All right. We got some good speed going now. Turn up the sound on my side a little bit. I want to have fun, too. I want to hear the sounds. Hoping this all fits on here, because to get on this track is going to be a little bit of a bear. In fact, it's going to be a lot of bit of a bear. We may not be able to do it. Unless I back all the way back down this way and pull them in this way. That's kind of a pain. Let's all hope they all fit on here. Now, it shouldn't be too much longer till we get down to the end here. And we're going to hit our slow speed right there at 15 mile an hour. Here we go. Slide that into a neutral position now. this put on some brake there okay it looks like I stopped it in time this time so that, that's that's about a bit of perfect right there I like that jetpack to the front oh yeah we're way okay good 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 so now we're gonna land here this should not this, we should have to give it a bump here right oh yeah all right so we're gonna set that uh yeah then we're just gonna give us a bump turn that down turn that down we get off the brake cylinder or bail it okay now is that no, not yet. We'll give ourselves just a little bit of a bump here. There we go. Perfect. Come here. Uh, it's already set. Open the coupler. That's what we got to do. At one time, I forgot to do that. I'm sitting there. Why would I couple? All right. So here we go into forward. There we go. All right. Now, see, I moved it forward no problem there, and these things are at 75. Of course, that hat probably has to do with the uh, cut. Now, what happens if I hit F7 right now? Or is it going up right now? They're at 75 each. No, if I hit F7 right now, it puts them both at 90. Okay. So now what we got to do is, well, we can run up there first, I suppose. Get on there. Here we go. Here we are. We're going to run these two shunt engines back to the front, to the yard on the other side. Then we'll start moving these trains here. 
We're gonna have to deconnect, uh, uh, uncouple the power first, and get them, get them to where they need to be. All right, just gonna take a little bit to me get to the other side, so I will uh, put you guys on pause till I get there. Okay, so we're down on this end of the yard now, and I want to stop it short of this track uh, because I don't think we have to come down here, and I'm pretty sure we don't. Because, uh, you know, go here and then back up over to there. I don't think we're going to have to do that. We can back up far enough where we can run down this far track over here. So uh, we should be good. I'll just stop it short of this uh, this switch right here. There we go. All right. So we'll uh, get off. There we are. We'll, we'll also kill the lights on this engine. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we'll set him right there. Now he's uh, he did not zero, right? Yeah, okay. All right, then we're going to run up the yard here. Now we got to start moving some engines out of the way. It don't matter what order we're doing it in. Uh, you know what? Mm, 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 mm. There's this engine sitting over here, isn't there? Yeah, those engines over there. We're going to have to move those two, so let's move those first. Then we'll move those two, and then there's another one behind there. We got a lot of power to move around here, and I love it. All right. So we're going to come down here, run down this way. This is the first train I've ever seen come from this direction trying to get into Jack's Uh Okay. Now let's take a look at, well, we've got to relinquish our other train, right? Train relinquish our shunter there, and then this one here. Now let's look at the tagger. Yeah, these are all set for none. That's not right. Uh, okay, so I'll have to, I'll have to fix that. Uh, of course, if I take this, well, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so let's move the power first. <clears throat> then we'll worry about uh, tagging them after that. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, I should come over here first. I don't know. Start the engine. Sure, why not? That's not a good idea. Auto start. There they go. <clears throat> Are all these ES44 DCs? Uh, these last two were. I didn't see the first one. Open the coupler here. And then we can close the angle cock. Open the coupler here. And then we can... Uh, yeah, release the handbrake. Okay, then over here we will release the handbrake. Then over here we will release the handbrake. Now that that did happen on the last one too, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. So now we're gonna do this, this, and this. Very good. Everything here looks good. Uh, turn on the light. Let me see the light. Uh, this one here is set correctly. This one over here is not, but we'll ride up there. We'll be fancy and ride. All right, so let's put it in forward. There we go. Bell comes on automatically. All right, now this one should be near zero, right? Uh, yeah. But it's fully released. So it is going down just very slowly. But let's see if that we can get some action just so we can decouple. If I hit F7, it's going to reconnect everything. I don't want to do that. Here it's cycling up. What just happened? <laughs> okay. So, uh, is it because, uh, yeah, I bet you that angle cock was opened again, wasn't it? What, what, what am I doing in here? Get out of here. Yeah, I did something wrong back here. Let's see. Uh, what did we do? It's open. Yeah, close that. I did close it, right? Or maybe when I hit, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay. So, uh. These are all the way down now. 
can't bleed anything. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Okay, uh... So it decoupled the air hose, so now I should be okay doing this, right? F5, F7? Okay, yeah, now everything's set. Okay, that's, that's when we disconnected it. I must not have closed the angle card. All right, good. All right now, now let's get going here. There we go. Cycling up. All my numbers up here are correct. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to go over this way first. And we're going to jump off in order to uh, set that one correctly. A lot of stopping, jumping off, and throwing switches, but, you know, that's uh, the nature of the beast. All right, we'll stop it right here. There we go. I didn't look at it yet, but this one on the front sounds like an ES-44 DC. And, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Go. And back in first gear again. There we go. I wish we were able to cruise all the way back there to the uh, engine storage tracks. Watching the speed closely so I can set it at 15 mile an hour with the slow speed. There it is. 15.2. I'll count that as acceptable. Now what's this one here? This one is correct. Although why doesn't it... It's got a different... It's got a different target on it. You can't see nothing, and that must be mean normal, right? Yeah. Now, what are these up here? Okay, I think I want to put them on this track right here, which would mean that this second switch is thrown incorrect. All right, slide that back into neutral. And get ready with our indie brake. There's our switcher right there. The twin Jeep 40-2s. We go. Jump off. Walk over here. Throw the switch. Now these should be... Yeah, Q173. And this should be... Yeah, the road to Taft Yard. Okay. Okay. That is all correct. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. I just think of something else. All right. So let's uh, take our brakes back off. And let's move forward again. Here he comes. I don't know. Relief the brake cylinder. Failing them. There they go. So these are at 84. They fell a little bit. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too fast now. Not too fast. Oh, a little bit slower than that. Okay. Alright, you got it. Came in, came in red hot, but we got it. Okay, so now we're going to put the rest of these uh, engines here. Now we're going to back it up some more, or go forward some more, I should say. There we go. There we go. It's going to push back that whole line there now. Slip that into neutral again. 
Back it up here just a ways. Pretty even with those right there. Ought to be nice. There we go. On our uh, Indy brakes. Very good. Now we're going to turn off the lights. Uh, and then we're going to do this. We're going to say uh, handbrake. Cut the engine. Handbrake. Cut the engine. One on the end here. Handbrake. Cut the engine. The engine you hear running now are these, uh, these ones over here. All right. Look at that long. Look at that long line of power. That's awesome. All right. So now what we got to do is these next two engines are going to pull off are both ones that are not going to go in this one. They're going this one because they are named engines that I use for other things. So that means we're going to have to relinquish our engine and we're going to have to move these back. I don't want to, or do I just want to push them into this? And yeah, what difference does it really make? Yeah. Because I was thinking I'd leave a gap in between, you know, don't, don't connect them all together. But it's not like they're going to lose their tag or anything, so that's fine. We'll come over here now. We'll run over this way. And fire up our next disaster. All right, so what, what I think I want to do this time so it works is I want to start it up. And then fire up the uh, brakes right away. There you go. Start them all. That's an ES44 DC. That's a tight fit is what that is. This is an ES44 DC. What's this one on the end? Looks like another ES. Yeah. The game is ES44 DC crazy right now. Okay. We're going to come over here. We're going to say, do that auto, do that auto, do that auto. Very good. And we're going to go F5, F7. Okay, now we're going to disconnect it instead of doing it the other way around. Now, this little engine here, there's only has one on it, is also an ES4040. All right, very good. Coming back to here now. We're going to number, concentrate now. Set it. Open the coupler. And then we're going to open the coupler and close. The, everybody see me do it, right? Close the angle cock. All right. Now we're going to put it into forward. There we go. Brake cylinder. There we go. Turn on the light. See what we get now. A little bit cycle up, then it should start moving. Okay. That time, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. All right, good, 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 good. I'm going to come up here now. Do this. And then we're going to continue forward. Uh, Yep, there we go. Kill the bell. Thanks with the bell there, uh, Smiling Joe. Or is it Jimmy? I don't know. Oh, it's Slipping Jimmy. That's what it is. Thinking of uh, that series spinoff from uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, better call Saul. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay. Ooh. So now the problem is gonna be this one's set wrong. So we're we're gonna we're gonna step off and get this set correct. Uh, there should be, because we pulled three engines off. There. See, I got to get past this second switch right here. See, this one's set wrong, too. So let's come over here. We might as well throw this one right here. Then we'll go back onto the engine. Ride down a little bit. There's three engines here. Mm, mm, mm. Should be able to make it. You'll see what I mean. If you don't understand what I'm talking about right now, you'll see when I get down. What I'm, what I'm hemming and hawing about. All right, here we go. Of course, I'm going to have to set my slow speed again once it hits 15. Here we go. I'm going to 
Put it here, because this one is, should be reversed, right? Yeah, it is. Let's get off. Come right over here. Throw that switch back to normal. That one should be normal already. It is. Okay. Now, the question is, am I going to be able to get that? This is what I was having on about. Am I going to be able to get that first engine past this switch before it connects up with that? And the answer, I believe, is going to be yes. Let's find out. All right. Kill the brake. Come on forward. Cool shot right there. All right. So this is a named engine. What engine is this? This is the Rice Yard Road Train. Start slowing it down. God, I'm hoping we're just not hitting that one on the other end. It's going to be close, isn't it? Ain't right there. It's good right there. I think we made it. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put this puppy into reverse. There we go. Release the uh, indie brake. Fail the brakes. See, these went to 84. Is it because I put the brakes on too hard, maybe? Is that got something to do with it? I don't know. Let's back up. Here we go. Let's see what those numbers do. Is it going to allow me to move now? It is. Oh, well, these are at 84 still. Why aren't those refilling back to 90? All right, here we go. Now, of course, that last switch is going to be wrong. So we'll have to get out and do that. Yeah, and I think I'm going to clear the cars off these tracks first. Before I go get those ones that are back behind us. Bell still on? Hard to hear from this end. I think I, I hit the button. I think I turned it off. go slow this down now here we go come back over here perfect in schlag and uh, we're doing reverse there right yeah here comes reverse. Could turn on the reverse lights. Oh, no, I don't have that set up. So I could, except I don't have it set up. Okay, that's good enough. Slow it down, slow it down. Don't come in here crazy like. A little bit more. There you go. There you go. That connect up. There we go. There we go. Got to get on the other side of this so I can see where he's got to pull back to. I could have walked through the engines, but... Sided against it. Yeah, that's good enough speed. All right. We'll just stop it right there. Very good. Kill the lights. And brake. Stop it. Three inches here, right? 
Yeah, yeah. those three got to be. I'm trying to think of how many I'm going to go shut off. There we go. There's that one. And then this one. Very good. And then this one is. Yeah, it's already stopped. Okay. Alrighty. So there's that engine in place. Now we'll go get the next one. This will actually be the last one before we go back uh, into the shunter. We start pulling some cars off. All right. I feel like I'm getting somewhere now. All right. So we're going to have to relinquish my current train so I can grab onto this one now. We're going to auto start it. What a shock, it's an ES44 DC. Wait for it to start up. Perfect time to get a drink of Coke. So good. All right. 5327 is all fired up. No, we don't have to hit MU. We don't have multiple units or uh, distributed power. But we got to hit this. No, we don't really have to hit that at all. Uh, it's not going to hurt. This and then this. That's end of train. Yeah, we we're going to un-up. Well, no, actually, we're going to do this. All right, F5, F7. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get all cozy right in here. Set the handbrake, open the coupler. This side, we're going to open the coupler, close the angle cock. And we're going to pull forward. There we go. Give me some forward. There we go. Perfect. Give me some kill on the bell. All right, now we're going to kind of repeat what we did on the last one here. Except I think this first one's not set right, is it? It's set for the... the yeah, we're going to have to go in there. And then this one's not set right either. And then... Can we get over to that yard? Yeah, we can pull into here, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Tracks really aren't all that confusing, right? Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Well, not sure. This is really... TMU train too long for available track. Extra tracks. Cars ignored. They told me that was done on purpose, so I need not worry about it. We're going to slow down just for these two switches. Actually, we're going to stop before these two switches. There we go. And we're going to come over here. We're going to throw this one to normal. This one we're going to throw to reversed. And then this one. Oh, we're going to be thrown to reverse. Now the question is, can I fit this engine on this track? If it hits that, it's no big deal. We can just... Oh, we should probably turn on the light, too. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, there we go. All right, come on forward, then. Oh, yeah, take off the brake. Good idea. You have all the best ideas. Kill the bell. We haven't set his slow speed yet, so we gotta watch the speed closely so he doesn't go too far above 15. So put it in neutral. Add some brake, add some brake, add some brake. We really wanna slow it down, because if we do hit that car, we wanna do it at less than five. There we go, that's good. Right there. So he clears that switch. Okay, yeah, we got room. Beautiful. Throw that into reverse. Break that. 
Move that into normal. Now we're going to back it up. Here we come. All right. Now everything should be set all the way into that storage track that I want to get into. There's 13 mile an hour. There's 14 mile an hour. There's 15. And this... The other thing about this uh, uh, thing that I like is he, I've been in Jack's Duval now for quite a bit and quite a few episodes, and there's still so much to do. It's awesome. All right. And who knows what the rest of the route looks like now. I, I know that Rice Yard is completely filled. I have so much humping to do. It's all, it's all good. Here we come. We're going to want to go on the far left there. Yep, normal. That one's normal. Beautiful. Those targets are such a big help, huh? That's probably why they invented them. All right, now we're gonna slow it down here. Very good. Bag it up. Just a little, though. We don't have to get it even with that engine back there, really. I mean, we've got enough clearance room here, right? We got clearance, Clarence. Alrighty, right there. The brakes. Beautiful. Then we're going to kill the lights on this thing, slip it back into neutral. Come over here, uh, set the handbrake, kill it. We're going to come over here, relinquish the train. We're going back to this one. Here we are. This one should already be all set up for us. Just got to turn on the lights. And uh, what is this set for? This is set for reversed, right? Should get us in the right direction. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what side I'm on. This side, I guess I can see the targets better. So, okay. Let's move this train forward now. Here we go. Start grabbing some cars. go slow speed is set what do we got here now we're good good all the way up to that one that one's not good but the rest of them are all good okay okay i suppose it don't matter which one i lash on to first We'll go for the near one. And mostly because we're on that track already. This, does this track lead back there? I don't know. Oh, this one's set wrong, actually. Isn't it? Yeah, we're not going to make it, though. We're, gonna, we're just going to pop it. Now, does this... Am I on the right track? Don't know. Uh, yeah, 
that's the right track, right? It's these two tracks here, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm trying to convince myself. I'm going to look back here anyway. Okay, so this track is the one that has that other engine on it that still is waiting again. So I could pull off the long one here first. We are lined up for that. Okay. Uh, okay, what we're going to have to do here... I'm saying okay too many times right now. Okay. So come over here. These two are set correctly. Now going back this way, we're going to have to throw this one into reverse because we're going to want to go onto this track here because that those cars there are in the way. Uh, so then we'll throw this one to reverse and we'll throw this one into normal. There we go. All right. Then we're going to run back to the engine. <clears throat> get on the back. And then we're going to back it up. Release the brakes. Really should have done that before we started moving. This is the longer, the much longer of the two cuts that are sitting here. All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, onto that reefer there. All righty. Now we'll run back to the front here. Probably should put it in forward if I want to go forward. Yeah, that's probably a good guess. <clears throat> here we go. Everything's working smoothly now. Is quite a big cut, but we'll give it some time. I don't have a EOT on this thing, or did I, I think I did put an EOT on this thing, didn't I? Am I gonna be able to hear it from out here? Put it notch two. Yeah, this is a heavy load here. Yeah, it's a real heavy load here. Everything up here is fine, right? Flow is, is high. That should be near zero, though, right? Let's put it in third. Notch three. It is it is going down slowly. As the brake pressure is building. Okay, there we go. So it just takes time. I don't have time. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, let's reinspect my work here. Yeah, so we're going to go uh, reversed here, reversed here, and then straight. So the last car passes this switch right here, so we then can back down this track right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop, stop, stop. It says... Doggone it, an air hose has stretched apart. Is there a switch? Is that wrong? What what happened there? Why was I way over there? I don't know. Okay. What it what? What could have possibly been set wrong? What why why am I over here now? Oh, I'm at the end of the train now. Okay, let, let's go up above. What stretched? Oh, right here. This stretched. But why? Why did that stretch? There's the air hose that broke. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, why, why was that thrown in that direction? Why would that have been? Uh, come on now. There's no way. Uh, someone would have just snuck down here and thrown this into reverse. What is this? Excessive coupler angle. 
Yeah, at, at SPFE 87. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know this already. Yeah, right here. Pacific Fruit Express. Yeah, I got you. But now, uh, what is this land? <clears throat> All right. So if I go like this now and I close the angle cock, right? And then I release the brakes are released. Yeah, I just got to got to bail them. And then I back up. Uh, no, that's not going to work because it's not, if I do this, okay, there we go. This one. Now I can actually close this one too. Good. Night. Yeah, good. Okay. So it's disconnected, but now look at my numbers are better. Now my numbers are better up here. So now let's put it in. Is it in reverse right now? No, it is now. So let's throw it into reverse. I'm going to back it up so that I get this, the back two trucks of this car back onto this track here. And then I can throw that switch there. Okay. So we're in reverse. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Still nothing. Handbrake is applied. Oh, is it all the handbrakes go on? F5. There we go. That's what it is. Release all the handbrakes. Will my evil plan work? Yeah, I know. It keeps reminding me of the same thing again and again and again. Yeah, I know. I know that's happening. Can you not see I'm working at it? Put it notch three now. I went back down to zero. Because it took us notch three to get it going. <clears throat> so, these auto racks are all full. Or are they empty? Here it comes. Okay. Okay. Keep backing up. Okay, put it in notch four. Come on. You can do all oh, the brake the brake cylinders up. Take the brake off. Here we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go back to zero. It went back to zero. We're in notch four. Uh, well, these, these are off. It's a disaster. All right. Uh, so what if, because this is closed right now. What if I hit F7 again? Of course, with the, I should probably put the, this back to zero. Right now. Uh, okay. So now. If I do F7 and then I close the angle cock right away. Close that. Then hit F5. Okay. And now. Back it up again. I've done this before. I've stretched before and I eventually worked my way out of it. Going into it's reversed. All right, so put it in a notch one. No, it's just not. It's not doing anything. Right now. You know what? This is probably a good place to end the video. <laughs> I'm glad to see if I if I can fix the stretch here. Uh, yeah, let, let's let, 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 let's. Uh, I mean, I can do it. I know I can do it. It's just you got to play with it. I, mean, I may be doing it wrong, but you got to play with it. Uh, here. This will be a good uh, screenshot right here to leave it with, right? <clears throat> the uh, stretched, uh, the stretched coupler and arrows. I hope you guys had fun. It was fun for me, even uh, the part that hit disaster. It was still fun. So, uh, this is the end of episode 19 for Run Eight A Line. Uh, about a week or so, episode 20 will come out. We'll pick up right where we left off here. Uh, why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you leave me a comment? If you don't like the fact that this, I'm gonna leave this in the stretch mode like this. Well, this just may not be the channel for you.